Are you ready? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT and we're back with WWE Champions and a little segment we like to call Let's Talk About It. And today, we're talking about the brand new prize wall for the month-long contest for the Team Extreme. And I think, in my personal opinion, that this is fantastic. It is a way, way, way better system than we've been having. We've been having the vaults. And if you remember, you had to start at the bottom of the vault, work your way up to the top. And even if you had saved up a ton of loot for a while, it seemed like it was nearly impossible to get up to the free superstar without, or to the event superstar without spending actual money on the game. Now this month, they started something new and the superstar for the vault is not in the vault they're in their own separate bag now let's go take a look at the contest again really quickly you know you got your solo contest same thing as always but uh we got these rated r bags that we can pull on inside is one rated r coin and then a chance to win you could win edge outright from this a couple people have not very good odds but a couple of people have, and I've also seen some Lita shards go around, although I've pulled neither of that, personally. But, if you save up these bags, you can guarantee the Superstar now. So that's fantastic, that's a step in the right direction. I've spent no money this month long, and I am sitting just outside the top 1,000. I've cleared 21 milestones, and I haven't even got all of my playable tours done yet, so I'm doing really well there. And I can guarantee you I'm going to have enough rated R coins to at least pick up the three-star Silver Edge. So, big kudos in my book. I spent no money. Now, I have been saving since maybe mid-March, uh, right? It was maybe like a week and a half left in the NWO meets WrestleMania contest when I stopped spending and started saving. And I did a little bit for like the talent up, kickoff talent ups. But I hadn't done any Coin Evo or TP contest since. Saved it all up for now. And I have been clearing my TP and Coin events. And just playing what I can. Feuding, blitzing. Everything I can do to contribute. And I'm definitely going to get Edge for that. And definitely got that 3 star gold Lita from the kickoff talent up. That was easy peasy. So as long as you had a bunch of upgrades to do. There was no reason that you couldn't have got a 3 star gold Lita. So... Now we're all here to talk about the prize wall. So what do we do with the coins that we used to spend on the vault? Well, now we click into our store tab and we wait a hot minute for it to load up and we scroll down. And I also want you to see here every day, these free wing heart coins are going to replenish. You can get a thousand for free every day. It's the same way they used to do it when they used to send it to your mail. But now you have to get on and check and claim it yourself. So I like that. Be a little proactive. And you see on the prize wall, so we were talking about the rated R coins. Here's our options to pick up Edge. So 100 coins will get you the three star Silver Edge. There's no rush on this. You don't have to spend this until we get to that point. All right? So don't rush and think just because you got the 100, you have to buy Edge right this second. I would wait and see. Because if you can get to 190, I would pick up Edge and that gear. If you can get, uh, what is that, 120 shards. I can't even see the, uh, for 13. What is it? Uh, it's like 130 or so. I don't remember. Anyways. <clears throat> uh, if you buy all them 120 shard bags, we could do the math on it really quickly. I don't want to just be throwing out phony numbers let's pull out the old calculator and let's go 13 edge coins times 14 times you can buy that would be 182 oh but you only need the 120 times 10 to recruit him so yeah that would be 13 times 10 yeah it was 130 so if you get to 130 you can get a four star full four star edge uh, and then if you can get to 130 plus 90, which is 210 coins, you can pick up the four full star edge plus the gear. So if I'm not going to hit 190, 
I'm probably going to do the 130 and get the four star edge. Then I don't have to use any of my tokens. He's got all them hollow stars filled in. And I know that gear is a game changer, but I did not have the gear in my preview video. And you've seen edge was handling his business in my preview video. So he's still great without the gear. I've heard some people saying you have to get the gear. You have to get the gear. Yes, the gear is great. It is a game changer, but he doesn't absolutely have to have that gear. So I'd rather have him at four full than buy the gear and hope that I get some more shards for him later. So I'm definitely going to pick up Edge. So let's go ahead and close this. And now let's look. Here's all the stuff that used to randomly be assorted throughout your vault. And when you pulled, you just got it randomly. Now we can choose what we want to buy. This is just a store. You can use your coins on whatever. And I got a lot of coins. I've spent some already, but I decided to wait and show you guys some things that I was going to buy. So, whatever your needs is. I can't tell you specifically what the best thing to buy is. What I can tell you is that the Team Extreme Safe, if you look in here, uh, you know the items that are, this is the one that you can either get the five 100 TP bags, the 2,000 diamonds, the 4-star gold token, whatever. That's actually probably going to be about the worst deal to buy out of this store because if you look at the amounts of stuff that you get in there and put it up against buying that specific thing like say you pulled the four star gold token case out of there it'd be cheaper for you to just buy the four star gold token case out of here than it would be to buy that safe and end up getting that so unless you're really trying to get lucky on them 500 tp bags or let's say maybe all you want is coin and you've already bought all the coins from the coin shop there maybe you're gonna buy the safe to get a shot at some more coins that would make sense but don't think that you should buy the safes first that's just not a good idea what i'm gonna do is show you some things that i think are good uh offers that i'm gonna buy two star silver tokens they seem to be the catalyst for everyone at every level that's what we can't get enough of so i'm gonna look in here 86k for 40 of those, we'll go ahead and buy that. I'm going to buy every single two-star silver token in this case. All of them. I want that. Now, they also told us that you should not be able to clear everything out of this. You should not. So don't think that, you know, you're going to get everything anyways because you're going to have to make some decisions on what you want to buy. Now, I know two-star silver tokens, uh, they're hard for me to come by. So, I'm buying every single one I can get my hands on here. Okay, so we're out of two-star, three-star silver tokens. Those I have for days, way more than I could spend. I'm not going to buy any of those. So, I'm done in the uh, silver token cases area. Blitz tickets. Blitz tickets are hard to come by nowadays. I'm going to go ahead and take this 6,000 for 96k. I think that is a fantastic deal. You're going to need Blitz tickets. We just can't save them up the way we used to with the cost of the Blitzes nowadays. And I'm not sure I'm going to buy the rest yet. I, I want to spread this out a little bit. Uh, I did purchase the 2003 Star Loot Shard coins. I'm pretty close on a couple of guys. I did buy the 500k coin prior to recording as well. How much for the 300k? 31,000? I'm just going to go ahead and buy these too. 31,000 seems super cheap to me. I mean, I don't know compared to what, but I'm like 31,000 of these little suckers. You get that off of like one tour. Yeah, I'll take 300k. 200k for 2,300. I'm just going to take another look around. Close, man. Tablet's touchy today. Okay, four. Wow, 792,000 coins. You could just, bam, pick up 1250 TP bags. 1210 bags, yeah. I'm going to come back at the end. Now, here's the thing. This isn't a rush. You don't got to spend the coins as soon as you get them. I'm going to buy things that I really think that I need. So, I really wanted to buy the gold. I wanted to buy the blitz tickets. And I wanted to buy the two-star silver tokens. Now diamonds that's an iffy one now i don't really know i think i will i think i'll just go ahead and buy this 20k 
as much as the new diamond system isn't fantastic for the players, uh, it might end up being, and I want everybody to give it a little bit of a chance, and we're going to talk about that in its own video coming up this week, but give them a chance to start seeing how much diamond they're going to pump into us. If we start making two to three times as many diamond as we were now, I don't think anybody's going to be too upset about the new system. It would actually turn out to be better if they load us up with more diamonds now, because then we'll get more four-star silver tokens. So... You guys can see what's going on with the prize wall. You're going to have to make decisions for you. Uh, I made the decisions that I thought were best for me. Like I said, the Blitz tickets, the 6K Blitz tickets, the all the two-star silver tokens, and the high end of those coins, those are your best deals. I would snag up all that stuff first, and then I would save up everything else I can get, wait for the very end, see what your needs are, see if you have somebody that's one token away from something, or... Uh, a little bit of TP away, or maybe you need a headliner pull, or I, you know what I mean? Then save it up, wait for the end, get your calculator out, do some math before you buy anything, and map out every single thing that you're going to buy so that you don't end up running out of coins before you get what you needed. So, what is everybody's thoughts on the prize? Well, I think this is the best addition to the game in a long time because... Everybody has a shot at this, whether you're a whale of a player, whether you're a small player, like, you know, even the little guys, the littlest guys that can only do a couple of those tours, don't have a lot of golden TP, they're going to be able to pick what they want to buy from the wall for it. So they're going to feel like they got rewarded for what they did, whether they did a little or a lot, you're going to get rewarded somehow. So I think it's the best thing they could do, and I certainly hope that they keep this system and all the rest of the future MLCs follow this pattern. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about the prize ball. What are you buying off it? What do you think is the best deal? Is there anything I failed to mention that you think would have been a good addition to this video? I'd like to hear about it. That's why we call this Let's Talk About It because I want to start a discussion. If you guys got a topic you want me to rant on, let me know down in the comments below. And maybe we'll talk about it next week. But uh, until next time, guys, peace. If you enjoy my content and would like to support the channel, the best way to do so is to give it a like rating with a thumbs up underneath. And hey, consider subscribing to stay up to date with the latest content.